Moments ago, I spoke with American tourist Brad Myers, who was right there at the scene overnight. Okay, Brad, thank you for joining us. I, I know you're on a, a trip of a lifetime across Europe, and you happen to be on London Bridge overnight. Can you tell us what you saw and heard? Sure. I was taking pictures on the London Bridge, uh, viewing the Tower Bridge, which is a picturesque bridge on the Thames River. I decided to go down to the Riverwalk, which is near, uh, on the north side of the London Bridge, uh, went down the stairs. About two minutes later, I heard a loud noise behind me and saw a van uh, on the pedestrian sidewalk where I had just been two minutes previously. Uh, it was going through the pedestrian crowd that was there. It um, continued on down. I saw at least one person jump into the water in order to avoid it. Saw people trying to get out of the way and possibly uh, vehicles were hit as well. What a horrifying scene. And, and can you talk about the aftermath? Did you go back up there after you saw what had happened? So I walked back up the stairs, saw that uh, at least two people were being attended to by at least you know three or four passers-by were looking after them. Uh, about two minutes after that point, the police rushed in from the north side of London. They ran through uh, just speeding past and uh, ended up, I assume they went to where the van was in order to apprehend that person. So it turns out that that decision of yours to go down, to take the stairs down, two minutes before uh, the, the van started plowing through people was a fateful one. This was a close call for you. Yes, it was. It's a very chilling prospect to think that if just a minor circumstance could have changed, I could have been right there. I really doubt that I could have gotten out of the way, to be honest. Well, we're really glad that you are okay this morning, and we really appreciate your time on what I know is a, a stressful day for you. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you.